come up to a derelict pot, use your boat hook to retrieve the buoy, and then make sure you're wearing safety gear, gloves, and bring the buoy or the pot up. Once on board, you can fill out the data sheet on the phone and take a picture. When you get the link to the app, um, it will take you to this screen. Um, if you already have downloaded the app called Survey123, you can just click on this and it will open right up in the app. If you haven't downloaded the app, you can either download it in the Google Play Store or in the Apple Store. Uh, both types of phones, Android or Apple, it will work on either. So just go ahead and click on that and it will open up immediately in the app. And it will automatically bring in your, your date and time. Just go ahead and type in your name. Um, and then an email, and it will bring automatically get your location. You can then take photos of the pot. So just hit the photo icon, and a your camera will open up, and you can take a picture of the crab pot. And if you need to take more pictures, more pictures will become available as you take pictures. So uh, if you need to, if the pot is in is configured weird, just go ahead and take more pictures of it. Uh, if since the you're picking up buoyed pots for the most part, uh, the buoy will have will usually have a number on it. If you can read it, go ahead and put that in there. Then, what type of trap it is, whether it's metal or plastic coated, the depth of water that you found it in. Then we start getting into the if there's any animals in the trap. So, uh, if there's any blue crabs in the trap, just go ahead and put in the number of living males and females, and the number of dead males and females. And then for any types of fish that might be caught in the pot, um, you can just start listing them out here. So your first type of fish, uh, you might have some spot in there. Let's go ahead and type in the name. If you don't know the name of the particular species of fish that's in there, just type unknown, uh, put in the number, and take a picture. So. Um, even if you know the name of the fish, just take a picture so that we can start ID identifying fish um, if you don't know the name of it. And then if there's more fish in the pot, again, you can take pictures. And put in a description of those type of fish. So let's say there was a croaker in there. And there were one, there's one croaker. Right. And if you have more fish, they will just keep on coming up. So you can just keep on taking pictures and it will just keep on adding more forms. I think we have five forms in there for fish. Uh, and then if there's any other animals other than fish or crabs in the in the pot, um, such as turtles, muskrat, whatever, um, or if there's a lot of oysters on the crab pot, we'd like to know that information also. So you can just type in what any, whatever you find there, or if you don't know what it is, just uh, put in unknown. And again, you can take a picture. And that will be stored on the camera, on the phone. Uh, and then if there's any other, any other things weird with the pot, just go ahead and put in the notes. So if there's um, lots of growth on the pot or anything that we, you think might have been missed from the photos that you took of it, just go ahead and add it in the notes. Happy with the with everything you've inputted into the app. Um, everything's filled out correctly. Go ahead and hit the check mark, and this will come up. And then you can hit send now, and it will go right to the map. And all you have to do to start your next survey is hit that again and hit collect, and you're back in it. Um, it'll automatically again bring up the date and time. So you don't have to use the uh, link that's emailed to you every time. Survey123 will be put onto your phone, the, uh, the app that we're using. So whenever the next day or whatever, when you go back out to look for derelict pots, just go ahead and click on the app. And it will bring up Survey123 again. And there's the Crab Trap app. 
Just click on that, hit collect, and it will load up. When you're retrieving derelict traps, if you come across any pots with a very small mesh and a small funnel, it's most likely an eel pot. Eel pots are legal to fish. So make sure you put those back. Do not remove any eel pots. Some eel pots will look like this. Some will have a small mesh and look like a long tube. happen to come across a crab pot that you can't pick up because it's either sanded in or it's too heavy to pull up, just go ahead and start filling out everything, get the GPS point, date and time, take a picture of the buoy if it's easy to get to, write down the buoy number if it's easy to read. Um, you can skip all this part, you, might, you can put in the depth that you found it in. Um, we won't know any of the animals or anything that's in there. Um, but in the note, note section, just type in could not retrieve or could not remove. And go ahead and submit it. Just so that we know that uh, there is a buoyed pot there, but uh, it's too heavy to remove at this point. So just hit send now. And when you sign up for the program also, we will send you a link to the map that will be created from all the points that you and the other participants in the program will be collecting on derelict pots. And with this map, uh, it will the points that you take will automatically be uploaded to the map and then you can zoom in or zoom out to find out, you know, how things are going elsewhere in Virginia um, and where there might be a lot of crab pots hanging out. So uh, we'll send you that link along with the uh, the link for the app and the uh, participation forms.